what's up air force look at my head this is so funny i wasn't gonna undo my clip but then i had last minute decided that you know what since i was already finna go do my grocery shopping for um the rest of because my diet ends on the 22nd but we going out of town the night of the 19th so i'm gonna go ahead today is what is today the 12th i think something like that and um it is wednesday so instead of waiting to because my nail appointment is tomorrow and i didn't want it to be that early i was thinking like tuesday but she i don't think she works on tuesdays and then monday she already had she was already booked and then the weekend she wasn't available and then friday i think her time i think it was a whatever she wasn't available long story short i had to book her for tomorrow at 4 30 when i get off and um so i'm not gonna try to grocery shop and i just don't like to put too much on one day so what i'm gonna do is since i have like less than nine days left of my diet i'm more than halfway through glory to god because really he is my strength he is the reason why i've been able to do this thing and we're gonna talk about it more in detail after it's done but you know I want to complete it first before I talk about it. But anyway, um, I want to go ahead and get the rest of my grocery now because what had happened was I'm sitting in the car and I had placed my first Target pickup order today, which is crazy. Obviously, I work at Target, so like you would think I would have been doing that because it's just the most convenient option. But the thing that I be doing, <laughs> cause I be really like slick shopping on the clock and I be seeing stuff and I be picking stuff up and putting it on my cart and then I'll just go get it when I'm on break. But the issue with that is um, sometimes I don't be having enough space in my locker to hold the stuff that I be getting before I be off. And it's like, girl, like, whole time you don't even gotta do all that like all you gotta do is place a pickup order that way it's already purchased and it's already sold away so you don't gotta worry about nobody buying the stuff while you at work i don't know why it took so long for that to click but it had to be one of my co-workers because he had said the other day he was like um he had found a loophole because if you know if you work at target um the whole um the whole discount thing is like complicated it's like a whole thing to where like the, the way you pay it ha you have to pay a certain way in order to apply your discount so you can either use gift cards cash or it has to be either a target debit card or a target credit card and basically a target debit card i don't know if you can get it if you're not a target employee i'm pretty sure you can but it's really dumb I mean, it's basically <laughs> just your actual debit card, but the Target version, because it takes the money directly off of your debit card. However, I guess it's kind of credit in a sense, because um, it doesn't take the money out immediately. Like it takes it out maybe in like two business days or so. So that's the only like credit function of it, but it's still coming out of your debit funds like your debit card basically is a card it's just on a target card so anyway you can only pay those three ways and he was just telling me the way that he do it and he was just telling me when i had walked by one day he was like y'all probably picking my order right now or whatever and that he had placed a pickup order because he ain't feel like shopping when he got off and i was like move because like i'm listen when i know I'm either shopping on the clock or I run and get my stuff after I'm off. But it's just like, if I'm trying to hurry up and get something done, why would I try to fit it into my schedule to just hurry up and get it after work when whole time when I'm on break or something, I could just place me a target pickup order and it just be ready and I just go get it 
when I clock out. Like, duh. But I just, it never dawned on me until today. Well, not today when he told me that, but today was the first day that I actually placed the pickup order. Long story short, anyway, I just needed a few things. So I went ahead and placed my order for that. And I had to get some more avocados because it's this pasta that I'd be making with this um, recipe that I've seen. I think I said in another video, I would have to put her video down below. I still didn't do that. I need to go back and do that. But anyway, it's this recipe that I've seen that I tried and I actually enjoy it. So, cause before this, I didn't really eat avocado like that. Like it was just like bland to me. Like I just, I didn't dislike it, but I didn't care for it at the same time. It was kind of just like, I didn't get the hype. But anyway, so I got the avocados and in the last vlog when I had said, I didn't know if the, if you had to, if there was a difference between half avocados and regular avocados, I don't think there really is, but um what i was noticing was because i'm like this ain't cutting as smooth as i see everybody else be cutting these avocados and i knew that they had to get soft i just wasn't familiar with the whole process because obviously i don't eat avocados so it was just like foreign to me so i realized after my bad y'all my phone had got too hot and cut off but what i was saying I, after i made the mistake of prematurely cutting the avocados you know when it wasn't ready it was too hard it wasn't giving what it's supposed to give and i was like ew like omg is it supposed to be like this like what am i doing wrong i realized maybe like the next day or two later that they were starting to get soft so i was like okay bet so that's what i'm supposed to do just wait until they soft so that you can cut it in it you know it be what it's supposed to be right so obviously i placed the order today none of the avocados because i i get the past avocados in the packaging like the net packaging or whatever so none of the avocados i felt them none of them were soft yet so i was like dang i'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow to make the pasta so what am i gonna eat today and i'm also kind of low on groceries not for real like i'm out of i'm good on frozen on frozen vegetables but like as far as something to have for a meal after work like i have a little bit left of because i'm out of bananas i'm pretty much for the most part out of fresh fruit i just have like maybe one or two things that I know I can or that I'm packing for my lunch tomorrow and Friday so I was just like I might as well just get what I need today for for from today until the time that I'm off of the diet or whatever so I was just like I'm gonna just go ahead today and get some stuff that can last me through the week for lunch next week and then also i have enough i have enough avocados and pasta to make pasta from now to the rest of the days that i'm on the diet and then while i'm waiting to make the pasta i was just gonna alternate between the pasta and soup because i had looked up another recipe and i was like okay i might as well just go to the store and get the canned tomatoes to make well the canned tomatoes and get whatever i want to put in a pot and just make some type of soup um so i might as well go get the stuff for that and the stuff for lunch next week yeah so i'm gonna be straight until i'm off the diet by doing it today and not wait until tomorrow because i can't do it tomorrow because i'm getting my nails well i could do it tomorrow but you know the vibes i'm not doing it tomorrow because i'm getting my nails done and then friday i don't even think i really technically have anything specific to do that day just i know i'm doing laundry and stuff but i just want to go ahead and get it out the way because what i'll be trying to do is 
make sure I have time to either vlog or edit or vlog and edit and work out and make my dinner like it's just if I do if I were to go get my nails done go get groceries and then come home and try to do all that it just wouldn't get done so I just try to be strategic about how I plan my evenings after work because I just know if I have it in me or not but after Blocktober I think I'm gonna be straight because I'm not gonna have to worry about editing every single day I could just edit really on the weekends or just whatever day that I have the most free time and then throughout the week I can just focus on my meals and working out I actually next week I want to start well not next week, well when we get back from out of town um that'll be on the 23rd I want to start um for that week I want to start doing more home cooked meals and just start budgeting and planning better as far as obviously financially to make sure that I'm not overspending on food but also planning my meals out for the week so that I can know that I'm gonna make this is then the third this week and then if I want to go out to eat or get something if I want to buy me a meal that ain't home cooked obviously like if I want some fast food if I want to go through a drive through or something real quick I can properly budget for that as well but what I'm planning for next week I feel like I'll be able to um, not only make sure that I have because each week when I buy groceries it's mainly for to make sure that I have lunch to eat at work but now I want to start making sure that I have well lunch and breakfast so I, now I want to make sure I have breakfast I have a lunch I have a dinner plan and then that dinner since it's just me I know I'm not gonna make enough or I'm not gonna make just enough for me like it'll be enough to where there's leftovers so when I have the leftovers either take the leftovers to work or eat it for dinner like twice in a row and then the next day cook something new so i'm thinking like maybe three meals a week like get breakfast for the week lunch for the week three meals for the week to hopefully last at least five to six days and then like on the weekends that will be my day of like okay maybe i'll start because i want to start going just leaving the house and just to do something or just to leave because i don't like spending my free time like wasting my free time basically like on my off days i don't want to just be at home all day sleep all day be bored like it's just like it's repetitive one two i feel like it's mentally draining and unhealthy and three i just like i just i don't know i just don't like it because before i lived here i would never be in the house as much as i i am now and i'm still a homebody either way but i still like to go out and do stuff sometimes like and it don't have to be nothing that like costs money either like even just like going to the park or just going outside doing something but actually getting up and having a plan like okay today not even like a strict plan but just like a plan to get up whether i go out the house or not like just getting in the habit of getting up getting dressed having like a routine to like get up and do something because i just right now i don't have that and i just want to get in the habit of doing that but also back to what i was saying about like going out like I want to start treating myself to stuff like on the weekends, like getting up, getting cute and like doing something nice for myself, like going out to eat or something, you know, I just want to start doing stuff more because I definitely used to do stuff a lot more, you know, pre-COVID and stuff, but even post-COVID, but I think I pretty much touched on everything that I wanted to. Um, I just made it to Kroger like 10 minutes ago. Well, mm, 
give or take five to seven minutes ago because I was still driving when I started this video but anyway um yeah I'm gonna move up because one thing about it if I don't bag into my parking spots which nine times out of ten I do but if I don't and it's a spot that I find in front of the park that I'm about to take that's available I drive straight through the park so that I'm still like facing like I bagged in you know the vibes but <laughs> yeah man I'm just really trying to change my life for the better and just do stuff that feels good and just you know not like wasting life away like that's just one boring but two like life is meant to be lived like you don't gotta do nothing too extra crazy especially not all the time to just like have a life you know just getting out and doing something besides work and i mean and i don't mean getting off of work and still keeping on your work clothes and like rushing and like doing something no i'm talking about like actually setting time aside to take your time get ready go do something that you want to do no matter what it is like even just going to the car wash even that's en enough but yeah man i just living to work is just not the vibe it never gave that and whoever invented that mentality i just wanted to to break from everybody anybody who picked it up i just want you to forget it ever existed and like actually enjoy life because like what i just i don't think that god created us to go punch a clock every day of our life and just not enjoy the rest of everything it has to offer and i'm not even just saying like you know obviously well i don't know what everybody else does but just like speaking from my personal experience like yeah we take family vacations or we take specific time out to do specific things but i'm talking about on a regular daily weekly monthly basis to where you just are consistently doing something that feels fulfilling so that you're not like either stressed out or like bored or just mentally off or just not feeling it like doing something to make yourself feel good doing something to make life feel like you're living it i don't know <laughs> but i guess i'll tell y'all real quick what i got i already told you about the avocados this is from target by the way my pickup order we have ran out of garlic salt and i be using that like every day so i just got a new one of that i got me some more aussie moist conditioner you know the one the avocado and jojoba oil one um the big one um i got this game from tiktok my cousin has sent it to me and he was like we got it um play this for thanksgiving or whatever it's called tapple can you see it tapple that's the game and it's basically from what i got from the video it's basically like concentration but this is just better because it's a way you can keep track of the letters and stuff that already been used and like like so they it give you a certain category and then you gotta name stuff within that category and there's like a timer in the middle so you gotta when you say the word you tap the first letter and then you press the timer to keep starting it over and i guess like if you run out of time it'll beat but it's basically like i don't know how to explain it but what i got from the video is basically a play on concentration i think something like that yeah and i got some shaving cream also because since i want to say since mexico I've been chilling on waxing as a whole because like my laser is treating the most important places on me that I cared about being consistently waxed and also since it's not summer no more it's no reason for me to be consistently hair free like on my legs and stuff like that so I was like I'm gonna hold on to this coin for a little bit maybe I'll start back going to my waxing and my facial and the jacial 
I'll start that routine back up again, maybe after like the new year or something, somewhere along those lines. But I have a financial goal that I'm trying to meet. So I figure I would just eliminate that expense as a whole for right now. Put that on pause. I put nails a little bit on pause. I just get them done if I know I'm going to go somewhere. But like as a whole, like I'm not at, the, at this current moment, I'm not consistently getting my nails done just when I need to. And I'm just eliminating certain expenses so that I can make sure that the money that I am spending is going to things that I need right now, as well as meeting that financial goal. Cause we almost there, we almost there. And we will be there before the year ends and i'm just speaking it into existence but yeah i've been in here for way too long just rambling like i always do you know because i be talking too much or whatever but yeah i'm gonna get these groceries to last me for the last or for the next and that's crazy because okay because i think earlier i said nine days I only have to get grocery for like seven because we go out of town on the 19th and then once we out of town I'm gonna just like have to finesse it really because I don't know if anybody is gonna have like just fruits and vegetables or you know where we gonna be eating that I can just you know get what I need to get but um <laughs> when i'm there obviously i want to make sure that all of my groceries now are used at least the ones that's um fresh not frozen frozen i can use you know when i get back or whenever like i'm not worried about that but the fresh groceries i want to make sure that i use right now before we leave so i don't have to worry about nothing going bad or whatever so really I'm straight either way. I'm good. This is kind of exciting because it's like this is the last strategic, well, really not last strategic, but this is the last diet grocery trip. And it's just like I feel like I want to say I did it, but it's not done yet, but it's close enough. And I'm just hoping that, cause I feel like the 19th, that day should be good because I'm gonna be working the first part of the day. And then the only thing I will have to worry about is that night. But if, cause I'm thinking like, if we stop somewhere like Chick-fil-A, I can get like a market salad. You know, the one with the strawberries and stuff on it. I could get that and um, with no meat, of course. And then, like the next day the 20th i don't know what i'm gonna do and i don't know what i'm gonna do about the 21st that's the only thing that i'm nervous about but i know i just know for a fact the 22nd come the 22nd it's lit <laughs> but anyway let me go in kroger because i just been sitting out here at this point for like 20 minutes just talking crazy anywho yeah bye So y'all remember how I said I was going to make soup or whatever? I still am. But <laughs> I was trying to figure out what vegetables I wanted to put in there. And I was like, if I'm going to do this taco soup thing, then what other than beans? You know? So, but I don't eat beans like that. <laughs> like, I like... You know llama beans i haven't ate those in years but like i don't buy beans so like and also say for instance if i was getting a chipotle bowl or whatever i wouldn't get no beans at all like no black beans no pinto beans nothing so it's just like <laughs> when you limit it on options you start trying new stuff or a different stuff and you just learn to like it because i mean you be hungry so hopefully i like them i bought both pinto and black beans and i bought some brown rice too to eat the soup with so i've been trying new stuff and 
it hasn't disappointed me yet so hopefully i feel the same about these beans and hopefully it just like fill me up and i just really like it i don't know but we gonna see and i'm gonna show y'all but also i think i mentioned this in the last clip i don't remember but i'm gonna mention it now but what my plan for today was not this um impromptu kroger run and then a new recipe to try i was gonna show y'all me picking on my outfits to go out of town which i still am gonna show y'all i don't know if it's gonna be today or not though it really just depends um i gotta get home make that i gotta edit i gotta work out so it's like if i edit first and then work out maybe i will do that because it usually be the opposite so i think today after i eat i'll go ahead and edit so that you know I can work out and get in the shower or whatever but yeah I want to show y'all I'm picking out my outfits because I feel like since that fall lookbook fell I kind of changed my mind on what kind of outfits I want to bring and then also thinking about the weather and stuff I don't know what the weather gonna be like if it's gonna be cold if it's gonna be hot I feel like it might be doing a little bit of this so it's like dang I really don't know what I want to bring so it's like should I bring the outfits that I was thinking about bringing anyway and then just bring a backup outfit just in case so it's like you don't want to pack and all this extra stuff I just been dreading packing really honestly and it's not even like I gotta pack all these clothes or nothing it's just like a matter of what do I want to wear because <laughs> I just don't know but I'm gonna have to figure it out I will figure it out and yeah that's just down next so i'll see y'all later me a nice little fruit salad strawberries two grapes because they can fit in my lunch container some blackberries some raspberries and i'm just waiting like 10 more minutes for my soup to be done i got some corn in there um fire roasted diced tomatoes some black beans, pinto beans, veggie broth, diced onions. Yeah. And then I'm going to heat up my brown rice and I'm going to eat that with the soup. This is my appetizer. <laughs> and I got to finish dishes, but I'm going to just wait. Well, I'm lying. I'll probably go ahead and do this and just rinse off the can openers that i use and then do that whenever i finish because well first of all i gotta figure out where i'm gonna put the leftover soup because i know i'm not gonna eat all this and i wasn't expecting it to be so much so we gotta figure that part out but yeah that's where we at with it right now it is currently 7 17 so um <laughs> We'll see if we pack tonight. Probably not because I still got to edit. I still got to work out. Today could be my rest day, but do I want it to be my rest day is the question. Because I could just let today be my rest day and then work out tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and then be off again Sunday. I could do that. We going to see um, by the time I finish this and edit where i'm at with it but this is it right now i already prepped my lunch for tomorrow and yeah i'm feeling lovely all right so i know i said appetizer is looking more like appetizer because <laughs> i got to filming this other video and just completely lost track of time so i haven't ate that yet i have tried this but it's been sitting here trying to cool off because it's so hot i keep burning my mouth but it's actually really good you guys like i want to eat this even when i'm not on this diet <laughs> with actual meat and other stuff too and um like tortilla chips and stuff like that like i feel like that would be really good but the rice is really doing it for me the brown rice but yeah really good yeah, that's pretty much it. Maybe, I guess, in the next vlog. Because I feel like I talked a lot in this vlog. So, to keep my vlogs at a consistent teen to 20 time frame. Then, um, I think I'm going to end the vlog right here. But then, if I try the outfits on, y'all will see it in the next vlog. So, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. So, without further ado. <laughs> I will see you in my next video. Y'all be blessed. Be a blessing.
so make sure you like comment subscribe share if you feel like it and um i'll see y'all tomorrow yeah love y'all thank you for watching Bye.